Hey, what's up everybody? So, I get asked all the time, Mike, how do you play ROM hacks? The best way to play ROM hacks is obviously going to be on hardware. You have your Super Nintendo with your FX Pack Pro, or you have a more modern, your Super NTs, more modern SNESs. The other way that we can play ROM hacks is through emulators. And a lot of people that have tried SNES emulation, uh, it feels, it just feels bad. The inputs are delayed, it doesn't run smooth, and I found that I had that experience with SNES 9X. So I'm going to teach you guys how to set up an emulator called RetroArch. And with RetroArch, you can eliminate 99% of input delay and it feels almost just as good as hardware. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is head to retroarch.com. Go to download, download stable. Download that, go ahead and open it and run the installation. Accept the agreements. Uh, you're going to want Direct9 runtime. So go ahead and click that, you're gonna need it. I already have it, so I'm just gonna hit next. Install. Uh, it's also going to ask you if you want to install Bing. Don't install Bing. There's no point. It's awful. Uh, okay, finish. So now we have RetroArch. When you first launch RetroArch, you're going to come up to this menu here. Before you get playing any games, you have to do some setup. First thing you're going to do is you're going to load core. You're going to hit download a core. It's going to give you a list for the SNES. You're going to go to the whole way down to Nintendo. And you're going to choose the SNES 9X current. It's going to download the core and automatically put it in there for you. Oh no, now you want to see how it says no core. You're going to click the core. Now it's there. Now I want you to go into settings. You can set up your controller here. I use a PlayStation 4 controller. I think it's the best for... Super Mario World ROM hacks, you can do whatever you want. But this step right here is important, latency. Go down here to run ahead. This is gonna be off. Turn it on and set this to two. This reduces lag drastically, or input lag rather. Once you do that, you can start playing. File, load content, and you're going to pick your ROM. And that's honestly all there is to it. Controls nice, feels good. Very little input delay, you won't even notice it probably. I cannot teach you how to get a Super Mario World ROM. Uh, you are on your own, but I will show you how to patch hacks. The easiest way to patch hacks is to download the Super Mario World Simple Patcher. I will put a link in the description. Uh, download it and run it. And this is basically the whole catalog from Super Mario World Central. So you're going to download essential files that won't be already done. Click that, then click select output folder. And this is where you'll save your ROMs to. So make a folder for your ROM hacks, then update database. You can scroll down the list, find whatever ROM you want, or you can search. I heard of a good hack called Cube Kaiser World 2. I don't know what it is, but we're going to download it. You click that, you hit download selected ROMs, and it's done. So now you go to RetroArch, it's already patched for you. We're going to load content, we're going to find our SMW folder, Cubes Kaizo. And just like that, it's already patched, and uh, we're ready to play. So uh, let me note that I don't know how reliable RetroArch is on Mac. This tutorial is strictly for Windows. You can try it. I don't I don't have one. I've never tested it. This is, in my opinion, the best way to experience ROM hacks without spending hundreds of dollars on hardware to play. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comments below. And uh, I'll get back to them as, as I see them. But uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for uh, watching this tutorial and I hope it helps. Take care, everybody.